a devastated landscape opens the film, as Dan Forrester and several other soldiers fall from the sky. Dan falls into a pool with others who keep falling. Flashback 28 years to December 2022, when Dan is a biology teacher living with Emmy and his daughter, Murray. At a Christmas party, Dan is waiting to hear about a job at a research institute. Instead, he gets a phone call informing him that the position has been filled by someone else. He goes back with to his family to continue watching the World Cup with when suddenly a wormhole opens up in the arena, releasing several soldiers from the future to the confusion of the spectators. Lieutenant Hart warns everyone that humanity will be wiped out by an alien invasion within 30 years. The goal is to recruit everyone possible to prevent the extinction. The draft has been on for a year since it was announced, and riots have continued as a result, with more casualties than anything else. Hope for the future has dwindled. As Dan's students feel that everyone will die anyway, they might as well just concentrate on their work. Dan is later called to report for a draft. After undergoing evaluation, he learns that he meets the qualifications because he has already died between the present and the time leading up to the invasion. He has a device placed onto his arm that will aid him in time jumping. That's gotta hurt. It is also revealed that Dan was a squad leader in Iraq 15 years earlier. Given 24 hours, he arrives at Emmy's job, where she works as a therapist for veterans. Despite Dan's resentment for his estranged father James, who abandoned him and his mother a long time ago, Emmy tells him that one person can help get them to safety, his estranged father James. It is Dan's duty to visit James, who has gone off-grid and does not trust the government. Before Dan can ask for help, James says he has never wanted his help, which infuriates Dan because that's the only thing he ever wanted from him, although James says that he would have only made things worse for Dan and his mother. The two are heartbroken when Dan informs Emmy and Murray that he has been drafted. They hug Dan goodbye as he returns home. Dan reports to the draft, where he meets people such as, Charlie, Dorian, Nora, and Cowan. The draftees are told about the process of time jumping and the plan for their mission. Charlie tells Dan that they send people who have died before the war to avoid a paradox, while also noting that Dorian jumped back after killing an alien, which they refer to as White Spikes. Without any time to prepare, the draftees are alerted to pass through the jump link into the future where they will arrive on Miami Beach. The draftees are dropped off way higher than they were supposed to, resulting in Dan and others falling to their deaths while they are dropped off so high. As soon as Dan gets out, he reports to Romeo Command slash the Colonel, who informs him that the military has bombarded the area to wipe out all living things. She tells the team to rescue lab personnel before the bombs are dropped. As the team moves into the facility, they discover the lab crew dead, but they recover the research. They soon encounter the White Spikes, who are fast and deadly with whip-like tails. Dan and his crew manage to kill some White Spikes on the run, but Cowan falls through a tunnel and Dan tries to help him. While the White Spikes are closing in, Nora and Cowan stay behind to defend the tunnel, just before the military drops the bombs on it, killing them both and the White Spikes in the tunnel. The surviving draftees wake up at a camp in the Dominican Republic. Dan meets the colonel, who turns out to be an adult Murray. She has some estrangement toward Dan for going through with the draft. She tells Dan that her team has located a female white spike whose physiology may be key in taking down the rest of the hive. The team comes across the cave containing the female, but dozens of male white spikes start coming down. Some get shredded by chopper blades while the soldiers continue to fight them off. The team manages to cage the female, albeit with Dan nearly compromising the mission to save Murray. As she reprimands him, she then reveals to him that he died in a car accident seven years after the draft, and Murray witnessed his last moments, all of this having happened after he returned from the draft, becoming disillusioned, and left his family, hence her estrangement from him. In order to eliminate the white spikes, the team takes the female to an oil rig where the jump link is so that they can make a toxin from her blood. Another ferocious battle begins as more aliens overrun the base and attack. The time in the jump link is about to expire and the female white spike breaks free. Murray is on the bridge when the female attacks, causing it to collapse. Even though Dan tries to save her, she lets go so that she and the female can die while Dan and the surviving draftees return to their current year. Upon returning, Dan tries desperately to go back and attempt to save Murray, but it is futile as the jump link is now offline, making the jump back impossible. He has also managed to hold onto the toxin, as they were unable to pry it from his hands. Dan returns home. While talking to Emmy, he tells her that he met Murray as an adult and worked with her. Emmy suggests that the aliens didn't arrive in 2048 when the invasion began, but that they may have been there much earlier. Dan then goes to a bar where he finds Dorian, who tells him that he has terminal cancer. Dan asks him about a white spike claw that he kept as a souvenir, and they discover ash on it that came from Russia. 
When Dan asks one of his students about volcanic ash, the whole class concludes that the white spikes have already existed and have been thought out by global warming. Dan, Charlie, and Dorian attempt to get help from a government higher up to allow them to take on a mission to Russia, but he denies them. Dan then goes to James for help, and they, along with the other soldiers make it to Russia and discover the site of the frozen white spikes. It turns out that the ship they came in on was not theirs, but rather to a different species that was carrying the white spikes as cargo to eliminate other planets. They proceed to inject the toxin but the white spikes wake up and attack when the toxin is injected into them. In an intense battle, Dorian sacrifices himself to destroy the white spikes. However, the female white spike remains, and she goes after Dan and James. The poison is injected into her, but she bites off her arm so that it doesn't spread. As Dan beats it further, he shoves the toxin into the female's throat and knocks it off a cliff where she splatters, officially ending the white spikes. News about the war's prevention spreads, with the higher up from earlier taking credit for Dan and the others making the trip. Dan reunites with Emmy and Murray, and he introduces Murray to James. Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help a channel out. Thank you for watching.